everyone, I'm Ksenia Chorna, you are watching the Pro Health channel. Today we have a very interesting topic. We will talk about the signs of the disease, which are visible if you look at a person. Watch the video until the end, because we will not only talk about those signs, but also what to do about with it all. So let's get started. And the first signs that we'll talk about are puffiness of the face, arms, legs and feet. There may be two main reasons. The first is the poor functioning of the lymphatic system. Lymph stagnation is when you drink little, move little, wear tight clothes, use deodorant with aluminium and you have big problems with the digestive system, especially with the intestines. And the second aspect is problems with the thyroid gland. During hypothyroidism, there may also be all the same symptoms, swelling of the hands, feet and face. In order to understand what exactly is happening, you need to take tests. First of all, to check the work of the thyroid gland. This is the hormone TSH test. I would like to emphasize that the signs themselves are essentially harmless. They do not cause you significant discomfort. But this is the most important sign that something is wrong in your body and most likely it's a reflection of some specific disease. For example, if I see a girl's swollen ankles or traces of socks that remain, the first thing I think is that she has problems with thyroid and hypothyroidism. At the same time, you may only be concerned about such an external manifestation, but you go to take tests and find out that you have hypothyroidism, and this affects the quality of your life. You don't get enough sleep, you have chronic fatigue, you have large deficits, and due to the fact that your gastrointestinal tract doesn't work effectively enough with hypothyroidism. Therefore, when we see a sign, we go to look for the cause. The second sign is bags under the eyes. In fact, this is a very important symptom for me, although you can't tell right away. Absolutely a lot of my relatives have this symptom. My great-grandmother, my grandmother, my mother, my uncle and my cousin. When I was 20-25 years old and now I'm 35, I thought that the moment would come when I would have the bags under my eyes. But something went wrong, I took up nutrition science and found out that in fact most people have bags under their eyes and it's not a genetical issue. The fact is that this is a sign of protein deficiency. When we have a protein deficiency, our muscles are very weak and they are not able to hold this area. In addition, you may have a sagging oval face. You may have a very dry and flabby skin in general. Of course, there is a small number of people with genetic characteristics but we, first of all, pay attention to our deficiency and secondly to our lifestyle and nutrition. If you don't go to bed on time, if you eat a lot of salty food, a lot of sweet food, a lot of fast food, you don't move, you drink little water, then we can blame everything to genetics. But if you lead a healthy lifestyle, you have proper nutrition and still have bags under your eyes, you should go and check the level of total protein by blood analysis. The third sign is acne, from which a very large number of people suffer both in adolescence and adulthood, and we generally believe that any manifestation of acne is some kind of mythical hormonal malfunction. I want to know that hormonal failure doesn't happen by itself. It occurs due to improper nutrition, due to poor functioning of the gastrointestinal tract. Of course, we can slightly differentiate the location of acne and gastrointestinal problems. For example, if you have a rash on your forehead, then these are problems with the small intestine. If you have a rash in the temporal area near the ear or on the lower part of the chin, this is a problem with the gallbladder. If you have a rash on the upper side of the clit, then this indicates stomach problems, but this is a very conditional. You may have rashes on your back, on your chest, they may be large purple in color or they may be small white pimples. In any case, this is an occasion to restore your gastrointestinal tract. Any acne is related to your digestive system. If you have stagnation of bile, it means that fat and fat-soluble vitamins are not digested enough. Their deficiency leads to huge skin problems. The second reason, if you have stagnation of bile, it means that your body lacks the most important antiseptic. 
Violet the symptoms that should regulate the growth of opportunistic flora in the intestine. If there is no bile, there will be excessive growth of fungal or bacterial flora, and if you still eat sweet and flour, then this is the 100% the way to acne. At the same time, both the acidity in the stomach and the bile in the gallbladder and the enzymes of the pancreas and our microflora in the intestine are directly related to your diet. The following signs are dandruff, white plaque on the tongue, various kinds of dermatitis. It can be seborrheic dermatitis, neurodermatitis, atopic dermatitis. All this refers to excessive fungal growth in the intestine, which leads to excessive fungal growth. This is a low acidity of the stomach. These are problems with the outflow of bile, problems with the production of pancreas enzymes, as well as excessive consumption of dairy products, sugar, bakery products. In addition to signs, how can excessive fungal growth manifest itself? It may be thrush, it may be intestinal candidiasis. You can see the presence of iodophilic flora by the caprogram. The next sign is follicular keratosis or simply goosebumps. This is manifested by small white pimples that can be on the cheeks, on the hands, on the hips, and many people think that this is the genetic, that they were born with it and nothing can be done with it. In fact, this is a reflection of poor defective work of the gallbladder. As a result, fats are poorly absorbed, especially omega-3 fats, as well as fat-soluble vitamins. There are only four of them, vitamin A, D, E, and K. If you restore bile outflow, make up for the deficiency of omega-3 fats and fat-soluble vitamins, you will see how your skin will become perfectly smooth. The next sign is plaque or cracks on the tongue. Many people think that they have a geographical tongue. What is it? It's when you see spots on the tongue. The tongue should be pale pink in color and papilla should be visible in it. A lot of people have some kind of plaque or geographical tongue. If you see that you have a gray plaque, the most likely you have stomach problems. If you see a yellow plaque or brown, it's a problem with the gallbladder or liver. If you have a white plaque, then this is a sign of excessive fungal throw, as we said before. If you have such a strongly patterned tongue with a white spots or vice versa, the tongue is white and spots are pink, this is called a geographical tongue. It's a very common among children and many people think that this is a heredity. It's also a symptom of food intolerance. If you eat a product that doesn't suit you, such reaction appears often because of dairy products and sugar. If you remove sugar and dairy products from the diet for two weeks, you will see how your tongue is cleansed. Many also believe that cracks on the tongue are innate. In fact, cracks on the tongue are a reflection of the condition of the liver. The problems can be different, ranging from the toxic load ending with the problems with the phases of liver detoxification. Your main task is to see cracks on the tongue and deal with the liver. The next few symptoms, which are signs of one big complex condition called insulin resistance, are overweight papillomas, red dots on the body, you can see darkening on the folds, for example, on the neck, in the armpits, on the elbows, on the bends. This is all a reflection of the fact that you have elevated levels of glucose and insulin in your blood. You will learn about it all negative consequences of insulin resistance soon in a new video on our YouTube channel. So far, I will tell you that an increased level of insulin has a carcinogenic effect on your body. Plus, increased insulin levels provoke the formation of adipose tissue. Adipose tissue accumulates toxins and is also a so-called separate organ of inflammation. Moreover, insulin resistance is the main cause of polycystic ovary syndrome, alopecia and acne. And our list today is completed by a string of signs, which include early gray hair, hair loss, baby nails, lack of lunar loss of nails, dizziness, files in front of the eyes, chronic fatigue, these all symptoms of iron deficiency. Today, most girls experience these symptoms. In addition, the diet of modern men is very poor on the source of heme iron. The most valuable sources of heme iron are byproducts, liver, kidneys, ventricles, heart, tongue. But modern people consume it very rarely. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Don't forget to like it. 
Ksenia Chornaya was with you. This is the Pro Health channel, the only channel about healthy nutrition which is aimed not at losing weight but at restoring health. See you in the next videos. Bye!